Ah, here we go again versus Yardbird. And now not e5. Yep, the opening challenge is in effect. Can I score against Yardbird? I lost all the recent games. I don't know. Not been in. Not playing well against him. I remember one or two occasions where I spoiled fairly, fairly easy wins. So. Um, something like this is possible, I believe. Castling f6, this kind of business. Here, come on, takes and f6. For knight f7, and then bishop d7, trying to, in the long run, do something with them, with the two bishops. But I don't know how it is played. Probably not on the queen side, <laughs> now that I think of it. But okay. Ah, he might have e5 here, right? I have bishop f5, okay. Yeah, it still plays it. Okay. Yep. Ugh, that move. Ugh, ugh. Uh, should think first, at least a little bit, especially if the opponent is not exactly a bad player. Uh, wow. Wow. Yeah, that's a disaster. That's really a disaster, this position. Knight b6 was already resign after that wow, wow, wow. what am I doing here that's a bad game why am I playing nonsense against him in the last couple of games this is weird I mean I'm playing the opening a bit too quickly there that's it's maybe one reason it's not familiar ground and I'm trying to be quick and not get into huge time pressure and being quick is okay in my own openings, but maybe here it's not such a great idea. Okay. Don't don't really know here. I mean, uh, position is so bad he can play all kinds of stuff um, maybe here for rook f2 might might still be mildly interesting if I can get this move in he had some easier ways to to win I'm not I'm not threatening rook f2 at the moment really rook 8 f2 knight d3 just wins yeah maybe maybe it's not winning so easily if I take there rook 8 f2 let's think about this can check you can give a couple of checks there knight d3 rook g2 king f1 rook h2 maybe this is really working threaten the mate there and if he goes on the second rank i can take that take on d3 nah, i don't really i don't think i have a much have a choice there probably check That was my idea. Rook h1 mate and the knight is still hanging. So he doesn't have a simple knight move or something that, that, that's not working. And well, he can check me, of course, a couple of times. Maybe some kind of checking sequence is the key. Maybe, but maybe I'm just winning the piece back. Check. Check. At 
least I have no choice here. And now he's returning it. So let's think for one moment there, just one moment. Here and here. So no, I think a4. Is there a thread there? Rook e7 or what? I don't get it. Maybe just this. This is simple. So wow, I'm, I'm back in this game. Cannot really believe it, but it seems like it. And I might, I might be a little bit better here even. Naja, not really. But mm, c5 or a4, both makes lots of sense. Yeah, maybe, maybe c5 here. Yeah. Rook c2, I could take g4. Uh, c4, king e3 is just about holding. Maybe this one, h5, and then I'm, I'm going around with the king. If I go there, check king e6. And now he's doing that. Hmm. Okay. Likelihood of a draw is very high. Check. Look, h6, for example, is um, is a fairly easy draw. Check. Check. Can I somehow do something here? Rook, rook e6, check, king d5, rook h6, just a draw. Check. Well, I can try. Check. Yeah, yeah the, the, the useless thing is, come on. Draw offered. Draw offered. This is draw game offered. The, the draw. thing is, it's, it's useless. Even if I win the H pawn, it's just, of course, a total draw. It's completely pointless. Yeah, I mean, you can just jettison the pawn. It's maybe something that is useful for you to know. If Check. something, okay, it doesn't need to defend it. Like here, somewhere, I'm not blundering stuff here. I'm taking this and he just goes there, puts the rook here, and now he can just stay on the first rank. This is something that is a special thing with the knight pawns, yeah? With the knight pawns, white can just stay in front of the pawn and can can shuffle around and I have no way forward. It's a draw in many ways. Yeah, there's also Philidor's defend on the third rank and so on. But this is the, the absolute easiest way to, to keep the draw and uh, can be easily done even if you have absolutely no time on the clock. So this is a useful thing to remember with the G pawn. Yeah, this is of course a game that I should have lost quite, um, quite quickly. Yeah, so this, this is really kind of ridiculous. Yeah, what I did. Probably queen b6 already is kind of kind of wacky, but went here, e5. Now, yeah, this is just this is terrible. It's just terrible this position. Nah, rook c8. I mean, probably have to maybe something like that. Yeah, covering this. This was one problem. Yeah, there's always after this e5. If I do this, my bishop hangs, and my whole position is crumbling. So here, here, 
takes, takes, and I, I just like, yeah, I'm, I'm just, uh, <laughs> it's just terribly bad, it's just terribly bad. And, uh, okay, well, he just had this, let's say I'm going somewhere, and pff, yeah, I mean, this is not even necessary. I have rook d8, okay, I have rook d8, so maybe this is why he didn't go knight b6, I, I see the point. But it's just it's just terrible this position. Rook here. A rook f8. Okay, that was at least good thinking. And after rook e7, rook f 2 it's really a draw. Cool. So I saw that that correctly. It really is a draw. I might Check. have had some some Check. chance there. Check. Because I don't think it's a particularly great idea to play h4. This is giving me more opportunities, but it's it's probably it's still a draw. Yeah? My king is also my king is not not good there on h6, um, and whenever I g go around, you can nah, that's a draw. It's just a draw. So very lucky after this after this opening. Okay, here yeah, what? Yeah, a4 is tougher. That's that's probably true. It's still a draw. Okay, well, thanks for watching.